In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a lead magnet in Canva. Actually, I'm going to show you how to create three different types of lead magnet using Canva. And all of these lead magnet types are excellent to use to incentivize your audience to sign up for your email list. Now, if you stick with me to the end of the video, then I'm also going to show you a super cool AI tool that's really easy to use that can create entire lead magnets for you, even including writing all the content for you as well. So if that's of interest, then stick with me to the end of the video. Now, with that said, Let's jump into Canva and I'll show you how to create the first type of lead magnet, which is a checklist. Now, before we jump into Canva, we're here in ChatGPT. So let's ask chat for some ideas for our checklist. So let's say that we're a dog trainer and we want to create a checklist for puppy training. So I enter my prompt. So I'm asking ChatGPT here, pretend you're a dog trainer and you want to create a checklist to be used as a lead magnet. And the checklist is about tips for house training your puppy and submit that to ChatGPT. And now chat is going to come up with ideas for our checklist for us. So first of all, establishing a routine picking a designated potty area, supervising limit freedom, and so on. So this is great. This is our ideas for the checklist. Now, of course, if you are a dog trainer, then you're not going to need to do this. You're going to already know what the steps are. I'm not a dog trainer. This is just an example for you guys, which is why I'm using ChatGPT for help. That said, even if you do know your subject matter, then you can still use ChatGPT to speed up the process for you and give you ideas and brainstorm and even write a lot of the content to a certain extent. But if you do that, then just bear in mind that even though ChatGPT is really good, it's not perfect and it's not always 100% accurate. So if you are doing that, then do make sure that you proofread content and edit it where needed and put your own spin on it, of course. So that said, now we've got our points for our checklist. Let's head over to Canva and put it all together in a nice checklist. OK, so here we are in Canva. Now, with Canva, there's loads of different types of templates and graphics that you can create with this tool. So to make it easy for you to find what you're looking for, come up to the search bar at the top and we're going to search for checklists. And now Canva is going to bring us a big list of templates that we could possibly use. And there's literally hundreds that you can use here. So you can keep scrolling and find something that you particularly like, then customize it and add your own content. So if you want to look at any of these close up, you can just click on them and see the preview of it. And some of the checklists also have like multiple pages as well. Others just have one single page. Bear in mind, if you're on a free account of Canva, you can create all these lead magnets that I'm showing you in this video with the free version of Canva. But you're just going to have less template choice and also a few less tools to use. Just to let you know, I am in a pro account. I use Canva a lot in my business. It's a great tool. So I do highly recommend it. But when I said that, you can do everything I'm going to show you in this video on the free plan as well. So I'm just going to choose, let's have a look at this one. So just for speed, I'm going to go for this template, click customize template to select it. And now this is going to bring the template for us into the editor. So, so first thing I'm going to do is switch this up a bit and edit it to make it more appropriate for dog training. So let's get rid of a few of these boring elements in here. Get rid of that as well. I'm going to start off by changing the title. And if you want to change your font, you can do so over here. And you've got lots of different types of fonts to choose from. Just going to leave it on Montessor app for now. I'm also going to delete these elements. I don't think we're going to need these in here either. Let's get rid of all this. And now let's head over to the left sidebar and choose elements. And now if I search for dogs, this is going to bring up elements related to dogs that we can drop in to our template to customize it. So if we bring these paw prints in, I quite like that. And what's also nice is this feature up here is this transparency. You can bring that down and fade it out a little bit so it looks a bit faded. So that looks quite nice. I'll leave it like that. And Back in the elements, let's see what else we can find. Um, perhaps put this one in as well. Uh, shrink that down a bit. Bring it down to the bottom left. And also I'm going to fade that element as well. OK, just like that. Perhaps let's put it up the top here. And just to give you an example of what kind of things you can do. You can change your transparency on this as well if you want to. You just leave it like that for now. Also, how about if we throw a nice picture of a dog in here? So if we go to photos on the left hand side and if I search for puppies. So now again, remember, if you're on the free plan, you will have access to some images, but you get a lot more on the pro plan. So just bear that in mind. You probably won't have if you're on the free plan, you might not see all the same images that I've got here if you're working in the same niche. Anyway, perhaps how about if we put these guys in? This looks quite cool. And I'm going to just drop that right there. OK, so so far starting to take shape and also I'm just going to stretch this up a little bit more as well, just to fill this space up here and move everything up a little bit. And in a sec, we're going to bring in our content, but there's a couple more things I want to do just to customize this a little bit more. And let's just move this up as well. And a little trick you can do if you want to create more lines, quick, easy way to do that is just to highlight them all and then click copy on your keypad. So control C and then control V to paste and then move that right where you want it. Cool. So that's a quick, easy way to do that. And now if I'm going to zoom in slightly here, 
these little arrows, I think they're better with the paw prints. Let's go back to elements and I'm going to search for dog paw. Okay. And if I get rid of these and bring in a dog paw, I'm going to shrink that down, you know, over closer into position, get it nice and small. And now from here, all I need to do is duplicate and I create the other ones that I need and bring them into position just like that. And of course you can do it for all of your points. I'm not going to do them all because I don't want to waste your time. This is just an example to show you guys. And let's zoom out again. And whoops, not that much. Okay, so far now it's shaping up to look more like a dog training checklist. So now let's go and grab some of our content from ChatGPT. So before we do that, once you've created the overall look and feel and you've got all of the poor prints, you've got all the font exactly how you want it. If you need this checklist to be a bit longer, then you can duplicate the page at the top here by clicking the duplicate page button. And now we've got the second page of our checklist. We don't have to recreate the same font or the same elements or anything like that. Okay, so now let's go to ChatGPT and grab some of our content. First thing is establish a routine and copy paste basically. So let's come back over here and switch that out and then come back to chat and grab first part of our content, that check mark and drop that in here. Easy as that. So this will be a little bit time consuming. You've just got to sit here copying all this out. Of course, I'm not going to do the whole checklist. This is just an example to show you guys, but now you get the idea. So you get everything exactly how you want it. I don't know, you, you might also want to change the colors of things like this as well. Very easy to do. Bring it in here, maybe to a bit more of a warmer color. Anyway, once you're happy with the checklist and you've put all your content in, all you need to do then is come up to the top right corner where it says share, click on share and download. And you can select what kind of format to download it in. And for most cases, PDF standard is a great format to use if you're using this as a lead magnet. Okay, there you go. Pretty simple. So now the next lead magnet type I'm going to show you how to create in Canva is a cheat sheet. So heading over back into Canva again. And from the search bar, we're going to search for a cheat sheet. And again, Canva is going to bring us up lots of different templates that we can use. Make our lead magnet look really nice. And you've got lots more options down here. If you keep clicking show more and Canva will show you all different kinds of templates that you could possibly use that would work well as a cheat sheet. Now, some of them do look a bit checklist-like, but overall you want to find something kind of looks a bit more maybe like this one, or maybe like this. It works in a nicer format for a cheat sheet. So let's just go with this one for speed. So quite like the look of this. Let's click on customize template, bring that into our editor. And first of all, let's get rid of this image here and let's go to photos and uh, search for dogs. And let's see what kind of image we can find to drop in there. So I'm just going to drop these guys in right here and shrink that down just so it fits, of course. And if you're on the pro version of Canva, you can remove the background here. You won't be able to do that on the free version of Canva, bear in mind. So if you are using the free version and you want to be able to remove a background, then let me show you a sneaky little workaround for that which is coming to this website here called remove.bg. So this is a free website that you can use to remove backgrounds from images. Now I've left the link in the description below this video so it's easy for you to find it. All you do is drag and drop your image onto here and remove.bg will remove that image for you instantly and then you can re-upload that into your Canva account. Let me quickly show you an example of that. So with those two dogs, if I drop the image right in here, then within a few seconds, remove.bg is going to strip out that background for us and then just click the download button and that's going to download that image to our downloads folder without the background right here. Then we can come back to Canva and under uploads on the left hand side, you can just drag your image in and that will upload it to your Canva account. And now we can bring that into our design. So simple as that. Anyway, let's customize this a little bit more, make it look a bit nicer and make them a little bit bigger there. Get rid of these things that aren't related to dog training. Let's bring in some more elements about dogs and perhaps let's bring the paw prints in again, quite like that. And I'm going to change that color to white and let's just move the angle of that a little bit down. And now to make a bit more space for our content, I'm going to move this up and I'm also going to now duplicate this and bring more space for our content. I don't know where that appeared from. Let's get rid of that. So now it's a decent amount of content in there and make it more dog like. Let's get a few more paw prints going on in this design. Let's put those down here and we'll make them white as well. And if we go back to photos, perhaps get another photo of a dog. So perhaps this one I'll bring that guy in here. Background's already moved on that image, which is handy. And maybe if we put him up here, Let's also get rid of these and I'm going to bring the title up just to give us more space for our content. And now here we can move this up as well. I'll probably get rid of this and let's get rid of those when we want that. Move these up 
And again, let's customize these to make them a bit more related to dog training. So let's put this in and let's change the color on that to white as well, just so it's a bit more uniform and looks much nicer. I'm going to fade that a little bit. Let's put the fading down a bit. Yeah, that's quite nice. And duplicate and drag that over to the other one. Brilliant. Okay, so taking shape and looking much more now like a cheat sheet for dog training. And again, let's bring this up and we want to make more space. So here, more space for more content. Let's duplicate these, bring them up and I can do another one. And there we go. And the same with the checklists. Let's bring that up here and then one more time. And Canva is going to put that in the right place for me. Great. Now we've got a decent amount of space for our content. We've customized this pretty quickly to make it look nice and relevant for dog training. Now, of course, I've done this in just a couple of minutes. You'll spend a little bit more time making this look even nicer. This gives you an idea of what you can do. And now, of course, you just then go to ChatGPT if that's where your content is and copy and paste your content in. Or if you're just writing your content yourself, because of course, you know your topic really well, then by all means, just go ahead and start writing. And same process, once you're happy with your cheat sheet, come up to the top right, click on share and then click download. Now, this particular style is an image as a PNG file. So that'd be absolutely fine for this type of design. However, depending on what type of template you chose for your cheat sheet, other styles like, I don't know, this one here, for example, if I select the template, this is more likely probably going to be a PDF. So if we go to share and download, yeah, this style is in a PDF format. So it doesn't really matter. Whatever style works for you. Basically, all this is for is a free lead magnet to deliver some valuable information to your audience and the customizing it in a nice looking format. Okay, now, so the third type of lead magnet I'm going to show you how to create in Canva is an ebook. Now, don't worry, it doesn't need to be like 60 or 80 pages long or anything like that. It can be as simple as like a two or a three page ebook is absolutely fine. Considering this is just a free lead magnet, but as long as you're offering some good quality information there, that's going to help your audience with a specific problem, then that's a great lead magnet. Okay. So now jumping back into Canva, let's go and search in the search bar for ebooks. And again, Canva is now going to bring up loads of templates for us that we can use for ebooks. And with the show more button, we can just keep seeing more and more templates here. Now, do bear in mind, if you're on the free version, you do actually get a decent amount of ebook templates. But yeah, it's not going to be as many as you would have access to on the pro version. And now something else to bear in mind with these templates, some of them, when you look at them, are the cover only. So if we click on them, others have internal pages as well. So this has the cover and also internal layouts already done for you. And it's just a case of customizing it how you want it and then copy and pasting your content in. So I've already seen one I like the look of. I quite like this one here. Again, this has got internal pages as well. So I'm going to customize this template, bring that into our editor. It's very easy now to customize this for your dog training book. So let's go and grab another image. Maybe put these guys in here. That'll do for now. And we'll name our ebook and shrink that down a bit. Let's get rid of that there and then how about we put the paw print back again since that's more relevant to what we're going for chop that in here and switch the color out so very simple bit similar to what i showed you before now again with your content it's now a question of wherever you've got your ebook written if it's in a word document or if it's in ChatGPT or whatever it's a question of copy paste and pasting it into the right sections throughout your ebook now bearing in mind this will create a very nice ebook and you can customize pretty much everything about it you want so you can really get it how you want which is great but this is a very long and tedious process. So although, yes, you can do it this way, it's going to take you quite a bit of time. So that being said, let me show you now a cool AI tool that can create pro quality ebooks for you really fast with professional layouts and covers. And you can upload your own content or it can write the whole content for you if you choose. Now, this tool is called Designer and it can create entire ebooks for you with professional covers and layouts that you can edit and customize. And with Designer, you can also give it a few prompts, not only create an entire outline of your ebook for you, but also to write the entire contents for you if you wish. Then when you're editing your ebook, you can also use Designer's AI writing feature to add more sections if you need to, or you can edit and delete manually if you wish. You can also add things to your ebook like images and videos and QR codes and interactive table of contents and call to action buttons and so on. And then once you've finished creating your ebook, Designer can also create a 3D mock-up cover for you that you can use to display on your landing page or opt-in form so people can see what they're getting when they opt in to get your free lead magnet. Now, of course, this tool isn't free and it comes with monthly pricing plans starting at $29 per month. However, I have a unique link that will get you lifetime access to the standard plan for a one-time payment of $27. So if you like the sound of that, then you can get that deal via a link in the description below this video. And if you'd like to see exactly how Designer works, then I have a step-by-step -step video on how to create an ebook with Designer. That video is on my channel and I'm showing it on the screen right now. And I've also left the link to that video in the description below this video. So it's easy for you to find it. 
So there you go, that's how you can create three different types of lead magnets in Canva and also one AI tool to create eBooks for you super fast. Now, if you've got value from this video, then please do like, share and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot and I really appreciate it. Now, if you need to know how to create a landing page for free to be able to use that to offer your lead magnet to your audience, then this is next video you're going to want to watch.